It's time for business news with Richard Southern. Tim Horton saw a surge in sales when the coffee chain first teamed up with Justin Bieber. So it's not surprising that the pair are getting set for an encore, Richard. Yeah, everything the Bieber touches turns to gold. Doesn't it seem that oh, way, yeah. Erica? Definitely. Except for his collaboration with the Leafs. He had the Leafs jersey. That didn't work. Right. Uh, well, we won't talk about the Leafs. But yes, <laughs> Tim Hortons and Justin Bieber teaming up again. First, it was the Tim Beeb Timbits over the winter. Now, it's going to be Beeb's Brew. He's getting his own coffee at Tim Hortons. It launches on June 8th. It is a... It's worth the wait. Uh, French vanilla cold brew. There he is holding it. French vanilla cold brew. Uh, not not only can you buy that on June 6th, but they're also bringing back the Tim Beebs on that same date. The first collaboration between Bieber and Tim Hortons caused a big influx of traffic into Tim Hortons stores, boosted earnings, and boosted the stock in the company. Uh, this latest mashup comes as Tim Hortons likes, likely looks to make itself relevant to younger coffee drinkers. You know, Starbucks has that cool factor. Tim Hortons is looking for a piece of that. Remember, Erica, you and I pitched uh, Erica and, and Richie <laughs> Timbits to Tim Hortons, and they were swiftly rejected. They, we didn't have the appeal. They, they weren't were looking having for. any of that. No, that was an immediate, immediately no, immediately no. Yeah. Okay, IKEA is set to open up shop in the heart of downtown Toronto, Richard. Are you excited by this prospect? Erica? I am. Yeah, it'll be more accessible for me. Get your Allen key ready. Mm. You're good at putting these things together. I can't put these things together, Erica. That's the problem. <laughs> Not easy, but yes, if you're if you're handy with an alley key, you'll be interested in this. The first downtown IKEA set to open on May 25th, we now know. This is in the Aura building. It's located at College Park at Young and Girard. So May 25th is the opening date. It's not going to be like the big IKEA stores you're used to in the suburbs. This smaller 66,000 square foot location takes more of a showroom effect. There are 2,000 smaller items you can buy and walk away with, IKEA says, but the larger items, they have to be delivered. There's no space for those flat packs there. Uh, the new downtown IKEA will also be completely cashless. You're going to have to scan and pay on the IKEA app. Uh, a place to get some uh, cheap uh, meatballs and salmon downtown <laughs> yes. anyways. Here. Mainly for the restaurant. I think that's why people go there, right? So, okay. 100%. <laughs> Finally, uh, while IKEA gets set for its grand opening, another big box chain is reporting falling profits. And when we say big, we're talking about the world's largest retailer. Walmart surprised investors today, Erica, by reporting a big profit miss. The reason? Rising cost for food, rising cost for fuel, and rising cost for wages, all pressuring the bottom line. You know, shoppers are looking for cheaper grocery options, and indeed, they're turning to Walmart for that. It gained market share in grocery in the quarter, but that was kind of a double-edged sword. It weighed a bit on profits since the retailer is selling more low-margin grocery items. Walmart's top sales category is still grocery, mind you. Uh, Walmart stock on the profit miss was down 11.3%. It's worst one-day stock performance since 1987. Investors pay attention to that. It's what they call a big bellwether. As Walmart goes, sometimes is the way the broader economy goes. So really reflective of the rising inflation pressures there, Erica. All right. Thanks, Richard. That's business editor Richard Southern. Thank you.